Okay, I'm finally back for a short video. Um, I just got out of the shower not long ago and I have no makeup on, so excuse that. But, as you saw in the title, I want to do a different kind of makeup for me anyways. Usually, you know, if you've watched prior videos, I do more natural makeup. Um, this is still sort of natural, neutral colors, but it's a little bit more... There's a little bit more to it, um, and it's more bronze, tan, well, you'll see. Um, and I'm so sorry that I have not posted a video in like two weeks or something like that, but it's been a busy summer, I've been out of town, um, I've been working a lot, so sorry. But thank you for still... Um, watching some of my videos. Thank you for subscribing and not um, and not unsubscribing because I haven't been here in a while. I'm going to try to do better and post at least once a week, but sometimes it's hard or I don't have any YouTube ideas or ideas for a YouTube video or I don't feel like I have enough time. So... Um, if you have any ideas that you'd like to see from me, um, comment that down below. And if you're excited that I'm back and you're excited to watch this video, then hit a like down below as well. So, you know I always use this um, Maybelline Insta Age Re Rewind in almost every video. And I may not show you or describe each product I use because this is more of a quick video. I'm just getting ready for work, um, basically. Um, so, let me just cover up these zits first, because no one needs to see that. I mean, they could, but, and it would be no big deal, but, you know. We're all vain, we wanna cover up our zits. So yeah, there you go. And sometimes I'll be looking in the camera um, and sometimes I'll be looking at the mirror, so sorry if it's a weird angle or it looks like I'm not looking at you. I mean, at least I'm talking to you, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I really appreciate you subscribing. We're over 70 now. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. Um, I'm gonna probably do some makeup and books, um, maybe some other random things, but also comment down below if you're excited about the giveaway, um, if you have an idea of what you'd like to win, it, you know, I might be able to get my hands on it, so comment down below what you'd like to win, to win in that giveaway. Um, yeah, some days I just cover up my zits and go, but today is going to be a more... I wouldn't say glamorous, but there's more to it than just the normal, everyday, natural makeup that I usually do. So, I don't wear foundation a lot. Um, I usually just use like a type of concealer. So, I am just, sorry for the close-up, but I need to see. This um, concealer is really good at covering the under eye as well because of course I have under eye circles. So sorry this may, might take a minute but kind of covering up you know where my skin is more pink or reddish too. And I don't wear eyeshadow a lot but I like to brighten the entire eye area with concealer. Sorry, I might be repeating myself from other makeup videos, but I mean, most of the time I do my makeup the same way every day. I'm just adding a little extra something today that you might not have seen from me before, but I have been doing um, throughout most of the summer when I feel like wearing a little more makeup. So, excuse me a second, I'm going to look in the mirror. So, I just um, covered my forehead area. That's what I'm doing. Finishing that up. Ok, 
kind of almost highlighting um, my cheekbones. I think I'm gonna leave like my cheeks bare a little bit because it really doesn't need to be covered and it kind of has that nice flush of pink and just cover most of the rest of the of my face. Okay, I said that that's good enough. Um then I might need to blend it a little bit with my brush. Uh, <laughs> if you're like me, you're like, okay, I'm in a hurry. I need to do my makeup. I'll wash my brush later, but then I don't wash it later. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there might be a little bit of residue of something on the brush, but that's life in the fast lanes, right? <laughs> okay, let's put my... Glasses back on so I can see. I did a pretty good job of um, blending everything. You know what? I don't think I need the, the makeup brush for that. But here comes some extra things that I don't use every day. This is an e.l.f. palette, which you've, if you've watched my videos, I love e.l.f. Works great. It's inexpensive. Um, it says St. Lucia, I'm guessing that's the name, but I'm going to link everything down below so you'll know exactly what I'm using, but it has like two colors in here. Um, this is a more bronzed, darker color, and then this is a more sparkly kind of peach color. Um, so I'm going to go in. I think with the peachy color first and just do my blush and I have to take my glasses off again because I would get makeup all over my glasses just do the apples of my cheeks just do a flush of color and I think I'm gonna blend it in just a tad bit with my fingers so it looks more natura natural <laughs> okay um I'm gonna take this smaller brush. Um, I'm gonna link down the, uh, below the video where I showed these videos, these videos, where I showed these makeup brushes. Um, so let me go ahead and use this more skinny one. I'm gonna use this darker color as like a contour and a bronzer. So I'm gonna kind of Chis it'll be like chiseling my face and then go make my um, chin area look sharper, more defined as well. So just see what I do. I'm going to try not to put too much on there, but sometimes it gets a lot. But I'm going to blend it in later, so it'll be fine. And I'm by no means a cosmetologist, a makeup expert, or anything. It's just what I've just played around and what's worked for me. And it looks kind of crazy right now, but once I blend it in, it'll look better. So I'm going to take this larger brush and just kind of blend it in some. Sorry, I have to look at the mirror. So it looks more natural. Like Those are the natural shadows and features of my face. And it's not like a stark contrast, but it just gives a little shadow effect. Blend it a little bit underneath my chin because my chin is just a little bit sagging. Just a little bit. All right, that's pretty good. Um, and you may not be able to tell hardly anything that I've done, but it's just a little, little different, a little better, maybe. Okay. Let's see. And I like to take 
that same color, I'm just gonna use the same brush. Um, same darker color. And I have a, like a larger forehead. Not like huge, but yeah, it's like definitely shining right now, but um, so I like to make it appear a little bit smaller and just, and where it looks like maybe my hairline is receding or it's just more sparse in areas, just fill that in some. And try not to be too dark with it. Just create a little bit smaller forehead and just like another shadow effect. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. <clears throat> I have allergies right now, so, or my allergies are acting up. <clears throat> just a little bit right there. So it's not like creating a bronze tanned um, look all over the face. It's just in certain areas. So the bottom of my face, my chin area, my forehead, and then my cheekbones a little bit. Some people contour the nose, but I mean, I don't really feel like my nose needs it or I don't want to put it there. So whatever works for you. If you want to contour your nose, go ahead, but I'm not going to do it on me. Um, and it's almost like when I put this on my forehead, it's almost like I, I got sun in that area. It's like a slight glowy, um, not bad sunburn, but just a little, like, I got some sun right there. Which I like for not every day, but for some days when I feel like it. Okay. So, let's use this clear e.l.f. mascara and just straighten up my eyebrows a little bit. Just put them in their place. Comment down below if you'd like what you've been up to this summer. I'd love to hear what you've been doing. Have you been working? Have you been at, had some people have summer school or college classes in the summer or have you gone on any, on any cool vacations? I'd love to hear about it. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead, okay. Sometimes I use this, but I'm not gonna use it this time. This is Herbal Essences tossling mousse. This gives a more defined curl, but today I just want like a loose wave. So I'm using the Frizz Ease Dream Curls Air Dry Waves. And I've done like a wavy hair routine or two, but um, I'll try to remember to link those videos down below in the description. So you'll want to look at the description this time for our product information and to check out other videos you might not have known that I've done. I just put this in my hair and scrunch and I can let it, um, I'll just let it air dry. Okay, and then, I don't use this every day, but I might as well today. It's the Mineral Fusion Mineral SPF 30 Brush on Sun Defense with Antioxidant protect Protection. And it's kind of like a powdery. It's like a powder, but it's sun protection. This will kind of help my makeup to stay too. Okay. Some days I don't wear mascara, but I'll wear it today. And I'm gonna use the same um, e.l.f. mascara. Well, it's, it's a dual eyebrow and mascara. Clear mascara first, just to define my lashes. 
Sorry, I'm leaning over and making something <laughs> move. And now things are falling down, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, that just defines my lashes more. Then I'm using the inexpensive classic Maybelline Great Lash. I believe it's in black, it's in brownish black, excuse me. I'm just gonna kinda do it more on the outer corner lashes. Excuse me, I'm gonna look in the mirror for a second. I love this uh, this mascara because it's inexpensive, but it does kind of transfer other areas if you're not careful. But you can just wipe it off or put concealer over it, and it's no big deal. Just a little bit on my lower lash line. A little bit, not a lot, because it'll get messy. Okay. Put my glasses on, and I think, you know what, I forgot about highlighter. So, let's do this e.l.f. shimmer that I use as a highlighter. And let's take this Lisa Frank Unicorn Makeup Brush. I try to remember to link everything below. Yeah, I don't think I got mascara in too many places that are, <laughs> aren't supposed to be. Okay, take off my glasses again and just put it on my cheekbones for a highlighter. And I guess I'll be extra today and put it on my nose, Cupid's bow, just a tad on the forehead and the chin. And maybe just a little bit more concealer, concealer, just a tiny bit. Okay, that's good. And then I will use the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray. This one's with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It's refreshing and it sets my makeup. And um, kind of refreshes it from looking just um, dry, giving moisture to the skin. And that's a little wet, so just <laughs> pat me down. <laughs> okay. And that's it. And I know I realize my hair is still wet, but this was mostly just about the makeup. And I apologize again for waiting so long to do another video, but I have some exciting videos planned. A, at least one poetry video I've got to do, I know, because I'm sorry, it's been forever since I've done a poetry video. And I've got an exciting um, makeup video coming up soon too. So, if I'm not too busy this week, maybe I can get both out or at least one out before the week is, is done because I'd hate to just do one video and then leave y'all again. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like down below. Um, comment below anything you'd like to talk about um, to tell me or talk among, amongst yourself. It helps me when you like a video, when you comment on, on a video, and be sure to subscribe and join our family. Like I said, once I hit 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be international, but it will definitely be throughout the entire United States. Um, and let me show you my makeup real quick. And this is what it looks like more up close. Like I said, it's still natural, but it's bronzed and beautiful and a little glowy with the highlighter. Okay, thanks for being here, guys, and watching to the end of the video. Love you guys. Bye.